Are you struggling to potty train or toilet train your new staffy puppy? Or maybe you're just about to get your new Staffordshire Bull Terrier and you want to make sure that you get toilet training perfect first time round. Well, don't worry, because that is exactly what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Welcome back to the Fenrir Staffy Show. If you are new here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviourist and I'm the founder and CEO here at FenrirK9Leaders.com. Now, if this is your first time here, make sure you start by hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notification bell because this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly ever want to know about Staffordshire Bull Terriers and then how to become a high-level canine leader that can raise perfect Staffy companions. So I really don't want you to miss any of the future incredible videos that we've got to help you achieve just that. But let's dive into today's video and I was just flicking through some of the emails from some of my clients and I've got a new client that's trying to take this process as seriously as possible they've got our perfect puppy protocol they're getting ready to go through that 12 month period and they wanted just to have is there any specific tips to Staffordshire Bull Terriers in terms of toilet training them so they can get off to an incredible a start as possible because I always preach about the importance of setting your dog up for success and that we as good canine leaders have a responsibility to set our dogs up for success and then really reinforce praise and reward that success rather than setting them up for failure and getting frustrated and one of the most common areas that people do this early on is around toilet training the dog has an accident they think it's the dog's fault they get frustrated they blame the dog they start to punish the dog that communication very quickly breaks down which then means that relationship breaks down which then spirals into all the other areas of the dog's life when it comes to toilet training your new staffy staffies are incredibly easy to toilet train they're very smart dogs and they want to please so the way i do it in my perfect puppy program again the link's in the description if you want to go and check that out yourself that teaches you step by step how to have a perfect canine companion from day one but in terms of toilet training, the very quick overview of how we achieve that is we start from day one, the second you bring your puppy through that front door, training begins. Toilet training being a part of that. And we set an alarm on our phone or on our watch and on the hour, every single hour, we take our puppy out to the designated spot that we want them to go to the toilet. On top of that, every time they've had a drink, every time they've woke up from a nap, and every time they've had some food, they go out to the toilet. Now that sounds extreme, but that's the level of dedication and commitment is required to have a perfect canine companion and for you to be a high level leader. What you do is you set them up for extremely high levels of success. Once we start to achieve that success, we then praise when they go to the toilet outside. We praise it, we reward it, we let them know, yes, perfect, that's exactly what I want you to do. I'm so happy with you. And the dog will seek to replicate that behavior over and over again because it's such a pleasant rewarding experience now you don't have to do that forever obviously what i recommend people then do is make a little note okay well i took them out on the hour every hour but actually the middle hour so i took them out at 12 and they went to the toilet but at one o'clock they didn't then at two o'clock in the afternoon they did but at three o'clock they didn't but at four o'clock they did again you start to get the opinion so then as you move forward you can start to go okay well we're going to stretch this to every other hour on the hour and then eventually as they get a little bit older and they can hold their bladder we stretch that out to maybe every three hours Hours, then maybe four hours plus every time they wake up because we've learnt through being observant through setting our dog up for success through being proactive and preemptive we very quickly learnt that our puppy every time they wake up from a nap needs to go out to the toilet so we're going to be observant we're going to wait for those times we're going to set our puppy up for success and then we're going to praise reward and reinforce that success and if you take that approach from day one you will achieve high levels of success not only with toilet training but all aspects aspects of canine behavior so i hope that quick fire video really helped try not to overthink it the theory the principle of how we do it isn't rocket science what is difficult is being consistent hard working and dedicated but those things are all characteristics of a good leader not only in relationships with dogs but good leaders in the human world as well they're hard working they're dedicated they're consistent and they are calm they remain calm and that's what we're going to do with our dogs we're going to be consistent hard working calm leaders that are going to set them up for success and then we're going to praise reward and reinforce that success and you will have high levels of success now if you enjoyed that video and you love the staffy make sure you subscribe turn on that notification bell so we've got new videos coming to this channel every single week so i can't wait to see you on the next episode of the femrear staffy show